Welcome back friends. Today we're uh, digging into, I guess this fuel tank and maybe another one. So 95 Honda Shadow VLX 600 VT 600 CD. This is the fuel tank, the original full fuel tank for this bike. And uh, it has been just sitting around. This bike was dirty and messy when I got it. So uh, we're just bringing it back to life. And uh, she needs a good cleaning for sure. But what I really want to see is inside because I don't remember what she looked like inside. I'm pretty sure I've run it off of this tank before. So it really shouldn't be that bad. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to clean this guy out. It's just been sitting around too long. There is fuel in here. It's probably junk, but we cannot run gas off of this, or we cannot run this bike off of this. Oh man, well that's what happens when bikes sit around. I, uh, yeah, you get this crap. So, the tank actually looks good, but we're gonna have to clean this. Oh, it looks just surface. I think this was a pretty clean tank when I got it but it had been sitting for a while at that point. So we're just gonna have to clean this up and then we can put fuel on it and put it right into action so that we don't get flash rust. Um, I don't know, we'll have to figure out what to do with this thing. Uh, yeah, like I said, there is fuel in it. So I was hoping, you know, there's gas in there, but uh, we're not gonna run it off of that gas cause it's been in there for a few years or more. And uh, like I said, it's all flaky. It's gonna clean up really easily and nice, but we're gonna have to do a clean on that tank. Love it. Love doing that all the time. So much fun. So, uh, well, at least we know. Uh, the petcock is underneath, like right down here. So I guess we'll have to disassemble, disassemble, disassemble this and uh, get to work. Cap's good. All right, so that's the news on the shadow tank. And let's go see how the interceptor tank's going. Uh, do you want to see the interceptor? Let me go show you that bike before we go down to the uh, wash stall. Here is our 1985 Interceptor. She's become a shelf. Um, I don't know if everything's good on her. Ugh, this Sabre, this Sabre has some nasty gas inside too. That's kind of stinky. This uh, 83, no, I believe this was an 82 Sabre. Anyway, she's got a lot of sand in there. So anyway, this is our interceptor that we may or may not get going again. She is chain drive, 1985. If you need parts from this, let me know. That might be the route we're going, but paint looks good, decent on the tail. And then there she is. Sorry, I should have moved some stuff around. There's our gauges there. We do have a key. I think the key fits the whole bike. You know, that's on the uh, tank from the other video. But, yeah, I mean, this is what it is. It's been disassembled before I got it. And now we're just starting to work with it. But it is a V4 700 chain drive sport bike, 1985. If it could come back to life, it would be amazing. Not much more you can see from this side. I don't even know how many miles she has, but wait, there's another key. So we have a couple keys. I wonder if they all fit the same things or if they're different keys. Looks like it says 13,774 miles. Be a pretty cool bike to get going. So I don't know, we'll see what we get as we go. Uh, looks like we need a grip on this side nothing major we got stuff everywhere as we're working through the shop cleaning it up let's go see uh 
how the other corner of the tank cleaned up. You can smell the vinegar doing its job down here. You want some wheels? All right, so we got some other parts for the interceptor. There's that lower panel. I don't know, there's other stuff around. Like I showed you before, we had this carburetor set up for it. As far as I know, that's the right stuff. So we are now back at our tank after Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Monday morning. And uh, we're going to dump this side out. Still sat perfectly fine. And hopefully we have less rust or no rust on that side of the tank. So I'm going to clean out all the dry stuff from here. Woo! So we're not uh, combining that. I'll dump this out and... Uh, We'll uh, dump this into this here so we can see what we got. Well, the good news is this is the bad side. And uh, the other side started cleaning up real, real nice. So we're going to get this thing cleaned up somehow. You can see where it was sitting. I mean, there's still stuff down there, but it's really coming along. You can see up here on the lip. Um, clean that up pretty good. And I can reach this and like kind of get that off. Uh, not much has come out with the the acid but this is mild acid like I said but whoa you can tell the difference of what it did after sitting a few days. Like I said it's not perfect but yeah I cleaned up some metal now rinse it out and I guess figure out how to sit it a different way and keep at it. But it's coming along I don't know how to get it all cleaned up, but it's making, making way. Okay, so I set her up on her nose here. So at least we can try and get the front of the tank done. Got her filled up to the point where she's starting to run out. So we're going to work on that. Let that sit for a little while. Can't tell. Can I lean this more? Maybe get a little better work up on the... Uh, where the hole is no we're about about exactly where we need to be we could see that other hole on the other side we're almost up to the edge there so i guess we'll just leave it as it is that's about as good as we can do for the front all right we need to see oh it started it started evaporating all right we're still in there so i'll dump this out and see what we get see what we have in there all right, man, I don't know. <laughs> this uh, it's gonna need something better, but yeah, it's cleaning up. It's starting to look better. Ooh, this was one of the worst tanks I've ever seen. So I can understand why it is taking so much work to get it clean. We're gonna need to do something extra special to get this guy clean. So I guess we'll throw the uh, Honda shadow tank into this rotation and try and get that cleaned up anyway. And then this might need some fresh acid to try and cut through all this crap. And again, like I said, I'm having trouble getting anything out. Do I have a screwdriver I could reach in there with? I don't think so. It'd be nice to get a screwdriver in there and kind of pick at some of that stuff and see if it comes loose. This might be a good time to throw my um, my chain back in there and throw it around, see if anything comes loose from this. You can see like all this was junk, now it's clean. I'm gonna keep at this and hopefully we can save this tank. You see this side worked, that's looking pretty good. And uh, then we did this side, which eh, it's not great. But that came up clean. This side still needs done. All right. Um, I think we should pause on this one because this is going to take a long time. Let's get that shadow in the soak mode. Does this look any better? I used the uh, jet sprayer on this nozzle to kind of knock some of that free. I don't know. A little better, maybe. Okay, on to the other one. I can show you what we got here on the bottom of the tank before we go in the dark. This is our pet cock. You got a thing that slides in there and screws in there so you can turn that. That's so it can reach out past the frame. 
it's kind of a dumb design, but that's how Honda did it in 1995. So we're gonna pull off this petcock and uh, it's kind of a compact, small tank. We'll have to do a, a walk around on this bike when it's all back together. But uh, it goes right down the center in the middle and this goes out to your carburetor. Well, it goes through a fuel pump first, but yeah, we'll just get a big uh, adjustable wrench and crank this off. Show you, it's probably a filter in there and then our petcock. So I'm not sure how we're gonna block that up, but we gotta do something to, to soak this thing. But it shouldn't be too hard to get all that crap out of here. I mean, you're gonna have these little eaves on the sides, but um, hopefully it's easy to get that rust out. All right, got her cranked off here. That just screws on there. And then carefully pull it because you probably have a filter in there that's not coming with it. That's your fuel tube. And then uh, there's already dirt down in there. This is our filter, which did not come along. Hopefully I don't have to destroy that to get it out. Sometimes they can be tricky. Other times you can kind of just carefully grab them. And if they're not destroyed, you can get them out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I can pull this thing out. I got it to budge a little bit. It's a little, it's loose. I can kind of wiggle it, but I can't get a good grip on it. I'm gonna work on getting this out. That is a filter. Come on. Oh, I also have this ring here, a rubber ring to seal that off. That came out of here. It should be, well, looks like there is one, but it should be down in there, right around this outer ring. So, I'm gonna, oh, I pushed it back in. All right, I'm gonna work on getting this out and show you what that is and see how it looks. I carefully grab this with my needle nose. Be careful, these can be brittle and then they'll break apart. And you probably shouldn't use them after that anyway, but you don't wanna break it in the tank. And you certainly don't wanna break it if you're gonna use it again. This actually looks pretty nice. Come on. So this is the bottom and that's the top. And there's gonna be like a, Kind of like this on the top. Oh, I can't spin it. Come on, buddy. I don't want to break you. Come on. Well, okay. Well, there's our crap that's in the tank. And I'm going to try to continue to carefully get this out. You can see all the junk. And there is the, uh, the gasket that's on there. I don't want to break it. I got to be careful. No wonder it didn't want to come out. There, that's the middle part that was getting stuck there. And then I didn't realize there was another one. This is a nice filter. So we got to clean that up. And uh, hopefully this is really easy. What can I put on the bottom here? Maybe I can spin a cap on there to keep it from, got to find something that's watertight. And then uh, maybe I can get this to be perfectly sealed. Well, as much as I don't want to clean this tank out this is the old gas that was in there and you can see all the crap that came out with that all that junk and uh, we didn't get much out so I think I'm gonna throw my chain in there shake it around real good and see what we come up with with a quick flush look how small this shadow tank is compared to the interceptor I mean <laughs> If anybody knows what the interceptor holds versus what the shadow holds, I'll look it up eventually. But for now, it's interesting how big this one is. So we're going to set this one aside. I will say something. I noticed fluid coming out these holes the last time I was rinsing it. So uh, we definitely have open passages in there. So that's good to know. Here, we're going to get this guy started. I'm going to get my chain up here and uh, throw it around. She needs a good wash while we're at it. I do have some Dawn. I can clean this up, no problem. But for now, we're just going with chain. It's gonna be off the chain, y'all. I cannot believe I just said that. Oh, it barely fits. Well, gonna have to make it fit. Shake it around. Don't scratch your paint. Ooh, okay. I would say we did a pretty good job, just manually. I know, I know, I used water. 
but but just manually rubbing this around with the um, yeah the the chain yeah yeah that's right we have the chain there um, I'd say that we did a pretty good job and uh, you should wash this tank up a little bit here and then uh, I'll get the chain out and hopefully we can keep flash roughs from happening and make sure there's nothing loose floating around in there and maybe we can put her back in action right away without even etching anything and I don't think that's going to be a big deal it's just a little bit of surface rust in there um, no major chunks that's going to get floating around there's probably always going to be something so run your filters and uh, make sure you keep your filters clean trying to get my chain out of here and I still have dirty junk coming out so uh yeah keep flushing i gotta flush this thing until it comes out clean look how dirty this crap is still coming out of this it's like mud coming out of this tank so i'm gonna fill it from this spot keep it full until it's coming out clean down here and then we'll flip it around and do the other side it's like mud it's gross disgusting sheesh I'm finally running cleaner after so many flushes and uh, I will be honest I was starting to get a little bit better a little bit less black and then I did drop some dawn in there so uh, hopefully that doesn't mess up me for future reference but right now she's running clean and uh, now I gotta figure out how to dry it up there's nothing in there there's no loose sediment that I can hear so time to get as much water out as I can and then dry it the best I can because again we cannot have flash rust I wish there's a way to suck out the water all of it can you ever get all the crap out? I don't know. Maybe if you work long enough. But this is why we run filters. Little bits still in there. Still could get stuck in your jets if they get that far. So again, make sure your filters are clean and you change them often after you do something like this. This is just shaking from the top and I'm getting it around from the uh, cap. Time to do our best to dry this tank out. Good old dog dryer. Got high heat. Try and get all that dried up inside. And uh, hopefully any little bits in there are blown out. Well, like I said, there's gonna be a little bit left in there, but it's not flaky. And uh, I think we're gonna be good with this. I think it's dry. Gonna lift it up and shake it. Hopefully, oh, there's still water in there. Still some water in the basement. Not much. All right, well, that's it for today. It's been fun. It's been real. And uh, we're going to try and get this completely dried out. I don't like the look of that. But as long as it's solid, we should be fine. You know, someone could line this if they wanted to. I don't like the liners because you never know what they're going to do. Let's see. It's solid underneath. There's nothing coming through. We know that much. So, I like this tank. I think she'll be fine. And, uh, can we get a visual inside there? Not really. It looks good. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this journey of shadow tank and uh, I'll put a little oil on here. Use Marvel Mist Royal to just coat it. It doesn't really stick though. I've already used motor oil straight up. 
And uh, I don't know. Does anything other than putting this directly into service keep from flash rust? I gotta get it out of a moist basement, that's for sure. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Get out and ride. Clean out your tank. Bye. All right, so I got all the water dried up and then I dropped some of this Marvel mystery oil in there and tried to coat it around the walls and everything. And uh, I think we're good. This stuff you can mix with gasoline, so it's probably not a bad thing to use here if we can keep it from flash rusting. Ugh. Um, one thing I am concerned about, which I just found, is one little bubble right down here. There was a bubble in the paint and I picked it off and this easily could be a pinhole that might rust through. I didn't see any leaks coming through it, but I just picked off the, uh, the top coat that was holding it in. I did see one little, couple little bubbles right back here. I guess we could weld in some spots if we need to, but Otherwise, I didn't see anything else, but this does concern me. We will find out when we put gas in here if it's going to leak out of there. I surely hope not, but that is the telltale sign that there's a pinhole in this tank. So that'll be for another video. Hopefully, after everything we did, this tank is really pretty clean and she should work well for us. I can't see... I don't think I can see over to that corner to see if we have a dead spot in the tank. Like I said, I got to get a scope that we can go inside these tanks and look at them. Probably pretty cheap. Probably could get one at Harbor Freight. Let's look at the other side quick. I don't see anything popping out on this side. So we're going to hope that we're fine. That's just wet. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Cross my fingers that this is fine. Bye.